Keegan Brown has put himself in a position to win this match here. That 174 setup. 74 left, yeah. Doing the damage. And now Brown can step forward. 107. And inflict the knockout blow. And knockout Mensa Suljevic in the first round. Game shot. And it is and the match. a second win of the week for Keegan Brown. Suljevic. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Game shot. Oh, how about that? Absolutely magnificent to cap off a very, very strange game. Both men playing way below their regular standards. But Ryan Searle, 54, 54, 36, takes out 144. Is Dirk van Dijven border? Again, does the right thing. 128. As soon as you get that single 20, you have to go 18s, and when you get the treble, you are forced to get another because you can't bail out on the 25 to leave a finish. Really good use of the board. And it wouldn't be a surprise to me... 100. ...if Dirk went back to the treble 18 now with Scott Mitchell not on a finish. And again, for double 16. Well done, Dirk. Textbook stuff. And the first nine average in this game is over 120. Bullseye, does he want to finish it here? 98. He wanted to finish it in 12. But he will settle for 14 or 15. His average is 13 to 14 points better than Mitchell. And even Mitchell with a small smile there. I'm sure he's enjoyed... The standard that 60. Dirk has brought, even though he's going to lose this match. Chosen target is double eight. Terrific. And 14 the... darts. And look at that clap from Scott Mitchell. Well, Steve Beaton making a meal of this. And Max Hop hoping to punish. Well, he's an expert at this kind of shot. 60. Could have gone down to 19 and then 25 to leave himself 100 there, Max Hop. Would have perhaps been a more sensible route. He's on a, a three data. Thirty-six. The more pedantically minded of you might say it's a two data one oh four, and you would be right, but he won't be going fifty-four for the bull, I assure you of that. Has he found that? He has. Game and he's found that as well to complete the 104 combination and to complete a comeback victory against Steve Beaton. Two treble 20s followed by the double. There's one. Couldn't follow, wasn't far away. And Michael Van Gerwen has the shot that won him his very first world title back in 2014. Didn't do it this way, I can assure you of that. 52. Bradley Brooks breathes again. Well, that's tricky. You can see him stepping across to what for him is a very unnatural position. Likes to start at the right of the hockey. He's right over on the left. 40. Can't find the double. And that could spell the end for Bradley Brooks, who has Game shot had the just the one win this week. At the Super Series, that was against Gary Anderson in the first round today, but... One hundred and seventy-one. This is Kim Hybrex A plus level. One hundred and forty. And he's done well to keep his head after three days of playing very, very well and not getting the results that he perhaps deserves. A wire bender, but he will be back. Fifty-eight and double four will stamp the seal on a very, very impressive win. 
And it's not just me that's impressed. Luke Humphrey's equally impressed with that. A man who Hybrex had never beaten before in three attempts. Well, when Devon's not throwing the 180s with the regularity that he was throwing them last year... 100. ...just means he hasn't got that heavy artillery that can really batter down people's defences. This is what I'm talking about. That's how he changes legs and how he changes games. And if he keeps on doing it, it becomes very, very unnerving for their opponent. But look at this, double 18 for 150. What a response this would be to the maximum. Oh, Here magnificent from Gabriel Clemens. It's three legs on the spin. The run of superb finishes continues and it's getting... The situation hasn't changed. He knows he's got two visits here to see this off because Devin Peterson has left himself a bogey number. Just whack another in there, Gabriel. 145. Well, OK, I suppose that gets him down below 81, so he should guarantee one dart at the outer ring. He may 96. well get two. He's taken out 78 already in this match. Can he take out 78 to close it out? He might. But he 54. doesn't. A rare miss from Gabriel Clemens at the outer ring. He's been very, very good on the doubles in this match. Devin Peterson to stay alive. 54. And I don't think that was in any way. So Gabriel Clemens to put Devin out of his misery. He's just not looked quite comfortable. There's been some good stuff from Devin this week. But he's evidently Game not quite the there. And double 12 is pinned by the German giant for a 6-2 victory. And Gabriel Clemens... So what's it to be? 18 segment is where he'll start. He'll stay there. And it is the ball. And 60. Joe Cullen might have thrown his last dart in the Super Series. It's been a fabulous Super Series for him. Is it over? Wild. And 60. that was right on the wire. Match dart survived by Cullen. Twenty-one. But double eight and double four welcomes Daryl Gurney back to the board. And Northern Ireland's number one to move into the quarterfinals. Has to stop and reset again. Bit tense this, isn't it? His first win against Joe Cullen for three years. A fabulous few days here in Bolton for the rock star. And look out for him at the UK Open. He well, this game feels like it's not only been a contest of darts, but a sort of psychological arm wrestle. 84. And it feels that Michael Van Gogh and the three-time world champion has won both convincingly, but not without being put in... All kinds of bother early on. 58. I don't think I've ever seen somebody maintain an average around 107, 108 for so long in a game and yet look completely not in it. <laughs> That's what Madders Rasmus done. 94. Because he hasn't even had a dart at double for the last five legs. He's lost them all. He's not going to get a dart at double here. He might lose six legs in a row 44. without getting a dart at double, despite the fact he's still averaging well over a ton. Double ten. There it is. Mighty Michael Van Gerwen reels off six legs on the spin. He sees off Latvia's number one. And he is through to the semi-finals. He is in the hunt for the title today. Double ten. And 30. Johnny the Ferret, they're three of the worst darts at double. He's probably thrown all week. Certainly the double ten. And Gabriel 70. Clemens can't take advantage. That looks so inviting, that first one at double eight, just outside the wire. Double five for Clayton. He'll go straight at this. Game and shot. he'll pin it straight away. Three. Does he go double-double? No, he doesn't, but he gets one at double-eight. 
and he just misses inside Gabriel Clemens. So the chance does still present itself to Johnny Clayton. And the ferret gets the break. And he leads for the first time in this match. Johnny Clayton. He'll be very, very hard pushed to beat him. He is playing magnificently. It may not be. 100. The enormous averages that we've seen from him consistently over these four days in Bolton. Singulator, where's he looking? Yes, double 16. 94. Not quite. But this has been a gritty performance. He's had to hang in there, Johnny Clayton. And he will get a couple of darts for a 6-4 lead and to push Gabriel 96. Clemens to the brink. Double eight. It's been so good to him. Game show. And it is good once again. A deciding leg in a semi-final. This might be the biggest of the lot. But it's not going to go. And Johnny Clayton will get a look at 90 to set up a final 84. with Damon Hetter. Stay in there. Ball. And the ferret has done it. It is absolutely magnificent from Johnny Clayton. He was a finalist on day one, a finalist on day two. In both, he was beaten in last leg deciders. Can the ferret go all the way to the title and pick up his second of 2021?